there's not a person in this state who believes they're, they are being undertaxed. And this is a session where the tax policies of Illinois are certainly going to be front and center. At the moment, there's a movement in Springfield by the Democratic Majority Party to move Illinois from a flat income tax to a graduated tax. That same party is responsible for years of overspending, overtaxing, and creating a mountain of debt, and they want to move to a graduated tax for one reason and one reason only. That's to raise taxes and spend money. Just as last year, Representative Jacobson, Democrat out of Champaign, has, has introduced a uh, constitutional amendment to move Illinois from a flat tax to a graduated tax. And they are serious. There are 33 Democratic co-sponsors on that bill, including the majority leader of the Illinois House. We are here today to warn Illinois taxpayers about the Democrats' plan to grab more of your money and let them know that all 47 House Republicans oppose moving to a graduated tax. A flat tax is a fair tax, and that treats all earners equally and ensures that upper earners carry a, heavy, upper earners carry a heavier burden. The graduated tax is an unfair tax to families and job creators. Illinois Democrats in Springfield will seek approval to move to a graduated tax by making promises that only the rich will pay more. Be careful about the, what the Democrats promise you. It was just a few sh short years ago, back in a lame duck session, in which they promised the state of Illinois that we had to pass a temporary income tax increase to pay the bills. A 67% tax upon men and women, families, businesses, and small businesses in Illinois to pay the bills. Not one bill was paid. It went towards a payment towards our pension system. We are here as a united caucus, and that's what we're doing today that we believe this is wrong for the state of Illinois, that if the Democrats seek to move uh, to pass a constitutional amendment uh, in the General Assembly, they're on it by themselves. They can go it alone because they have 71 votes, and if they want to put this before the voters, they need to put every 71 of their members on the vote because they're not going to get support from the House Republicans. This graduated tax is, that my col Democratic colleagues are saying is a tax on the rich is in reality a tax on middle class people. So if you define, and the Democrats do, rich as making over $18,000 a year under Jacobson's bill that she filed, you're going to have a tax increase. That's not rich. That's middle class. That's just barely making it if you make eighteen grand a year. That's the Democrats' plan for Illinois. And I'm from Macon County. This area has the highest unemployment in the state of Illinois. So when the nation's unemployment is 6.6% and Illinois is over 8%, this is over 13%. Just last week, a, a U.S. Mayor's Conference said Macon County had the largest, second largest contracting economy in the whole country, in the entire country. This is the classic, classic bait and switch. This will be sold to the public as a tax only on the rich. The rich guy on the hill making two hundred and fifty or three hundred thousand dollars a year will be the only person, the only family affected by this. But in fact, when you look at the math, and this is the math that comes from the sponsor of the bill, eighteen thousand dollars in terms of a uh, family income, your taxes will go up. Sixty thousand dollars, your taxes will double. Hundred and ten thousand dollars as for a family income, your taxes will go up one hundred and thirty three percent. That's something that's absolutely untenable. The framers of the 1970 Constitution were very wise to put into the Constitution the very protection that the Democrats seek to undo. And by undoing it, it would result in more fiscal damage to the state, more borrowing, more spending, and be ever more corrosive to the future of Illinois. People in Illinois are fed up. They don't want to be taxed any longer. You can look at the data by other tax groups throughout the United States, and they can show you that the states that have gone forward and grown their economy are the states that have either kept their taxes the same or reduced their taxes, but they certainly haven't increased their taxes. We know that a graduated tax punishes success and discourages small business, which is what creates most of the jobs in Illinois. 75% of the small businesses in Illinois, LLCs, partnerships, are taxed at an individual rate. So this tax 
affects them tremendously. We know that um, these are the businesses that create the majority of new jobs in Illinois. A lot of people think it's the major corporations, but it is the small businesses that are our backbone in Illinois. Illinois is already ranked among the worst states for job creation in 2014. 